Oh wow, that was a good hit. Got him. What's up guys, welcome back. It's been really hot out lately and I don't know if it's the heat or the weather or something to do with the overall conditions that has really turned on the bluefish bite in this past week. I've heard a bunch of reports uh, about the bite really heating up and we're in one particular spot right now where the bite was absolutely insane yesterday. Got a text from my buddy. Couldn't make it down here in time yesterday to catch the end of that bite, but we're here right on time today. The wind is going to probably be a little bit of an issue with the sound quality, but bear with me because if the bite is anything like it was yesterday, it is going to be well worth it. So let's get out there and see what we can find. All right guys, so as I mentioned, just a little windy out here. And also, as I mentioned, uh, we're expecting some bluefish action. So, not really going to be fishing with wood today. We're going to start out with a nice solid tsunami extra distance popper. Well, that wasn't the shot I wanted to get of him, but that is definitely better than having to handle it myself. So, hope you guys get to at least see him. Let's go get another one. Oh, wow. That was a good hit. Got him. All right, let's bring him over to the sand. All right, guys, so that fish got me covered in mud, but uh, it's worth it to make sure he got released properly. Want to make sure he swims off because, you know, I'm not keeping these fish. This is just for fun. Like I said, fishing in the sand, the bluefish just like made a mess, but I would much rather have them in the sand than the rocks because it's less likely to get injured. And there's just like a ton of seaweed out here today because we got a southwest wind, um, which makes for some messy fishing. But, uh, you know, I'm down to just walk out there in my shorts if it's going to give me some bluefish. Okay guys, this is definitely the downside to not bringing the waders, but it was just so hot out, I kind of just wanted to walk in the water. It feels nice, it was like 95 degrees today. So, it's all good. Promising, but there's nothing here. So we're gonna keep moving on. All right, guys. So we're heading back to a spot that I had to skip over earlier. It's actually on the way here from the car, but there were a lot of people there, so I just walked right by. But now that they've left, we're gonna swing back by there on the way out. It looks like a good spot where the bluefish can pin up some bait close to shore, and uh, you know, obviously be within range. So we're gonna swing back there one more time, fish it on the way out. Hopefully grab a few more fish on our way, so let's go check it out. Oh, there we go.
Okay guys, another fish that just released itself for me. I uh, kind of wanted to pick that up and show it to you guys, but uh, they beat me to it. But hey, it doesn't matter. I just wanted to see him swim off. So that was good to see. All right guys, so that was a lot of fun. Uh, got to try the larger Tsunami extra casting model. I bought that last summer, but I haven't really fished it yet. So it was a lot of fun to get out here and put some blues on it. Now the bite was not as epic as I heard it was yesterday, but the fish had a full 24 hours to start moving on somewhere else. And as a fisherman, it is my job to now go and find those fish for the next fishing trip. I definitely recommend giving that lure a shot. Now, if you guys are interested in it, I'm gonna put a link below if you wanna check it out. Um, it is an affiliate link and I do earn a small commission off of that purchase if you decide to do so at no extra cost to you. So it is a great way to support the channel while grabbing yourself a new lure. Subscribe for more videos like this and I'll catch you in the next one.